While this may look like the rehearsal of a typical group of musicians, all members of this conservatory are inmates at Sing Sing Correctional Facility, taking part in a unique program called Music Cambia, created by musician Nathan Schramm. Music Cambia is a nonprofit organization based in New York that creates music conservatories in prisons and jails throughout America. The first visit, they see the, the value of it. You'll talk to the administration and the security guards that, that know these people, they see them every day and they say, wow, I've never seen that guy talk to someone else. So you start seeing these characters come out through music that otherwise wouldn't have an opportunity to, to, to feel themselves. Music can be as goal, humanizing our justice system to nurture and inspire the incarcerated. The cello, it gives me feeling that I didn't have before. It gives me hope. This pretty much saved me. We're together with the music, everybody's like a brotherhood. I'm able to be human now. It was a time where I couldn't express my emotion. It was just fear, but I'm no longer afraid to express myself in any way, shape, or form. So what was the aha moment of inspiration for you to found Music Cambia? It was when I was in a, an ensemble called Ensemble Connect, post-grad uh, partnership between Carnegie Hall and Juilliard. And one of the opportunities I got in that two-year program was to perform at Rikers Island. That concert ended up being one of the most uh, connected moments of my musical career. This really powerful attention, there was absolute silence in the room. I felt like I had I'd found the real purpose of music, which was playing it for people that needed it. After traveling to a number of prisons around the country, I said, it's a, a worthwhile mission. When Nathan first came in, it was all smiles and we couldn't quite understand why. You're coming into prison to spend the day with a bunch of inmates, but you could tell it's coming straight from the heart, straight from the heart. Nathan's awesome. He puts me on the spot, but uh, he challenges me and I like that because it makes me get better. So at Sing Sing, which we consider our flagship program, it's a full scale music conservatory. We go in about two to three times a month with five faculty members. Over the course of a season, which is about nine months long, they start working together and collaborating. And the Music Cambia musicians perform for other inmates who aren't in the program? Yeah, to perform for the people that are on your cell block that have heard you practicing every day and say, you know, that, that sounds like crap, please stop. And they say, wow, you've really gotten better. They see the transformation. Exactly. <laughs> It sounds like you have to be a little bit vulnerable to, to be able to do More that. More than a little bit, you have to be absolutely vulnerable. It's the most scariest thing that I've ever done, but it's making me better. I think for most New Yorkers, I'm sure you get some reaction when they say, Sing Sing, these are people who committed serious crimes. Yeah, I have gotten that question a lot. How can you give something so positive to someone that's done something so bad? Like, you know, imagine if you were the victim's family. Or, I don't know how I would feel, but what I can say is that these guys are gonna come back into your society. Would you rather have them locked in a cage for the entire time without anything to do except to seethe and get angry? Or would you rather give them the opportunity to discover a community that built them up versus break them down. And who would you rather have as your neighbor? You want these guys to, to find their potential. This gives us a stepping stool. It gives us hope. It gives us uh, a, a reason to continue to better ourselves while we're in here so that we're not taking home 20 years of nonsense. I want to take something home that I can, I can grow from. That keeps us straight. We're not getting into any trouble. At Sing Sing, the rule is um, you can't have any uh, infraction or demerit at least a year in advance. And if you have any infractions while you're in the program, you are immediately removed from the program. So it also serves as an incentive. Yeah. You're not making the wrong decisions, you're making a better decision. There was a point in my life where I seeded negativity and I saw what it did to me. It ate my community. So I'm saying, okay, I can be the same person planting good seeds. I can't take with what I did do, but I can do new things. In all honesty, I. Four years ago, I wasn't sure that I was going to complete this sentence. I was ready to give up. You lost the will to live. I did. That black and white for you? I've got the scars to prove it. And this brought it back? Yes, absolutely. I want to finish this sentence now. I want to go home. It really has changed a lot of people. I've seen a lot of people who have done some, some things that uh, are not proud of at all. And we've turned our lives around completely. We've had six uh, alumni of the program that have been released. None of them have gone back to prison. And they're now living in New York City and, and making the city better.
I'm actually at Columbia University right now um, because of people like Nate. I'm studying um, social work and I want to be a criminal justice advocate. And that's all from the program. When you have positive influence like Nate, always pushing you and encouraging you to, to be better, not just the musical aspect, personal things in my life, it's a good feeling. Once you just give music to someone, that person that didn't look you in the eye, didn't smile, didn't talk to you, they just mumbled, and then becoming a different person and smiling and that spark happened in someone's eyes with music, it's like, it's beautiful. I, I was always um, angry. <laughs> I can't, I can't, can't it's so it hard. Anymore. This is how you're walking around in the street. Treat people well, when you see people you meet, you, you know, you, your eye contact, say hi. That's the way I should have lived my life, you know? How much of the change in you could we say comes from the music? 94%. Wow. I couldn't really breathe inside, now I can. That peace that you get inside, all of that relates to music in my mind. That came from that program. That's incredible. building them up behind bars of music. Nate is currently working to launch a Music Cambia program for youth detainees at Rikers Island and a percussion program for adult inmates there as well.